Hey guys, Artifantis here, and I wanted to do a series of videos where I do a walkthrough of all of the campaign missions. The campaign missions are designed to give you some insights on the game, and I think they're very useful for newer players or even advanced players. So for the first video, I'm just going to do tutorials 1 through 5. These are all pretty quick, so I'll move pretty fast. In tutorial 1, we see that the opponent has Tarsiers, 5 of them, so they just do 1 damage a turn and have 1 health. And he also has 3 walls for defense. You, on the other hand, have three Steel Splitters, which do one damage and also defense for three, and an Omega Splitter, which does three damage and defense for six. So the mission's pretty simple. You just attack with the Steel Splitters, three damage kills a wall, and you leave the Omega Splitter back. The key thing to realize in this game is if a unit does not take lethal damage, then all the damage goes away at the end of the defensive phase. So by leaving the Omega Splitter back, it's impossible for the opponent to do damage to you. So all you gotta do is leave Omega Splitter back every single turn. As it is, we just get to wipe out the Tarsiers. Nice and easy. Moving on. In Tutorial 2, we no longer get access to Omega Splitters. Your opponent is still doing 5 damage, but now he has Gauss Cannons, which have 5 HP instead of 1 HP. So, to beat this mission, first of all, you attack with the Steel Splitter. There's no reason to leave it back because the walls also have 3 defense. Uh, but this mission teaches you about Absorb. Basically, again, units don't die unless they take lethal damage, which means you can absorb up to 2 damage on the wall without, without the wall dying. This means that every turn, 2 of your opponent's damage is essentially wasted. Those two damage, that 2 damage didn't do any damage to you. So you just want to defend in such a way that ultimately the wall will absorb a maximum of 2 damage. And then slowly you whittle away at your opponent. Now he's doing 4 damage here, so if you just lose 2 of your husks, you can once again absorb 2 damage on the wall. Like you could do something like defend wall over wall, but you only get to absorb 1 damage, so it's not the most efficient way to defend. That being said, in this tutorial it doesn't really matter how you defend, you have plenty of defense. So even some inefficiency will still allow you to win. But anyways, as we keep on playing, this one takes a little bit longer because Gauss Cannon has such high health. But see, at this point, he just can't do any damage to you. Your wall is going to be able to block his entire offense. And eventually, we just win the game. Alright, so moving on. In tutorial 3, we finally get to the meat and potatoes of this game, actually buying units. Uh, this is where a lot of the strategy comes in. So as we see, we can buy wall, which is just a defender, and husk, which is a 1 HP defender. And we have the option of buying steel splitters or tarsiers for offense. Note that steel splitter and tarsier both do 1 damage, but tarsier is cheaper and takes 2 turns to construct, so it doesn't start doing damage immediately. However, Tarsier is actually significantly cheaper than Steel Splitter, so our strategy this game is actually going to be to buy Tarsiers. We're just going to buy Tarsiers every single turn, and eventually it'll be impossible for the opponent to win. We can defend our opponent's attack by just buying a wall every turn, since you can just lose the wall and then absorb to a wall. Again, your opponent's only doing 5 damage. And eventually, you break through and kill his Tarsiers. So at this point, it's pretty much game over for your opponent. You ran out of Tarsiers, but it doesn't matter. Note that, again, he's at 2 damage now. So he can no longer damage your economy, and you just wipe out his Gauss Cannons. Alright, so pretty easy game. In tutorial 4, things get a little more interesting. Now you don't start with a large amount of drones. You only start with 6. So you can't just immediately start buying attackers, because with 6 drones you won't have enough economy to support the strategies that you want to do. So instead, we need to start buying drones. And the idea is, this is very similar to an actual game. The very first few turns you just want to work on your economy to get it higher, and then eventually you'll transition into buying attack. So I go for a third engineer here. Notice that drones cost energy which means I can only buy a maximum of 2 drones a turn 
with on two engineers. I want to buy a few more drones, so I'm going to go for the third engineer. And my strategy this game is actually going to be to go for a Xeno Guardian. And then just going really, really high econ. This is not the most efficient way to beat this level, but uh, it's a lot of fun, so I'm going to do it. My opponent went for a Gauss Fabricator which just produces a Gauss Cannon every turn. It's a very cheap unit, but it's a little slow in starting up. So I have plenty of time to do my own thing. I'm also going to buy a Gauss Fabricator of my own. And then I'm just going to spam Steel Splitters here. Because there's no red in the set, we don't have access to Tarsiers, which would be the most efficient attack. So Steel Splitters will have to do the job. And note he's attacking for 6, so I'm going to have to buy a wall here. But everything is still going pretty well. I can replace my engineers. And I'm running out of drones. I only have one drone left. So now I bought out my drone supply. And I'm just ramping up damage. Note that because my economy is higher, I can buy more damage than my opponent every turn and still be able to defend. And the reason I'm buying the engineers here is just for defense. And eventually I just breach. So here I can't kill anything important, so I'm just going to kill a drone. And once again, I can easily defend just by buying a wall here, since he's only doing 8 damage. And yeah, at this point, just wipe out all of his economy. And that's pretty much the game. We're out of Gauss Cannons and Steel Splitters. <laughs> Alright. So I guess we buy Xeno Guardians. And finally, in tutorial 5, we more or less play a real game. So, in a normal game of Rismata, we will have two tabs of units. The first tab is called the base set. This combination of units will be in every single game, pretty much. And the second tab is called the advanced set, or the random set, or whatever you want to call it. You can just call it the second tab. It is sort of a randomly selected pool of units, usually. In this case, the units are fixed. But essentially, the random set units are usually slightly stronger than the base set units, so it's encouraged to use the random set units as the centerpiece of your strategy, and use the base set to support that strategy. Though sometimes it's the other way around. There's quite a few support units in the random set also. But we start with a normal game, so we need to start building economy. In this particular game, my strategy is going to be very simple. I'm going to go for Tarsiers and then get an Amparilla. Amparilla gains one attack for every Tarsier you have, so it like doubles your Tarsier's attack. And I'm going to go high econ just because I can. And then eventually work my way to building and Animus for my Tarsiers. So my opponent won for a Gauss Fab once again, which builds Gauss Cannons, but Gauss Fabricator is a very slow strategy, so I have plenty of time to buy an Amparilla. And I bought a Flame Animus there, which just provides one attack and one red. I need three red to buy Amparilla, so this is the perfect way to squeeze that in. And I can squeeze in the Steel Splitter here, so I will. Alright, so now I have 5 Tarsiers, which means when I buy my Amparilla, I'm going to double the Tarsier damage to 10. And this is going to start being very difficult for my opponent to defend. 
The second Amparilla now gives me 15 damage just from the Tarsiers. And the third Amparilla is going to be a crushing 20 damage. So at this point, we see it's pretty much impossible for our opponent to defend. Going to wipe out his drones so he can't buy other things. Uh, just hide that and then start working on his Gauss Cannons. And we get all four Amparillas at this point to do a total of 27 damage with Steel Splitter and Flame Animus. But just the Amparillas alone did quite a bit of work. Alright. So that is just one strategy you can do to set. Every one of these units can be used and I encourage you to sort of play this set multiple times and try to win with different strategies. You can go for Tarsiers with Centurion. Centurion's a very good defender. You can go for a much slower like Gauss Fabricator with Centurion build and also Tarsiers. There's just a bunch of things you can do. But em Emperilla is kind of the most exciting strat. So that's the one I'm demonstrating. All right, so that's the first five tutorial missions. The rest of the missions do amp up in difficulty quite a bit. So stay tuned for the rest of the series.